So today we're going to talk about shapes. If you do not have tracers or things to trace as shapes, then you can just use the bottoms of different things or lids of things. We'll talk about that more in a minute. But at school I have these lovely tracers for shapes. But you can just write shapes in the middle of your paper and then you can draw a box or some sort of shape around it. And then we're going to talk about the two kinds of shapes. So I like to separate my page into two parts. So here I have done the top and the bottom. And on the top I'm going to write the word geometric because that's one of the kinds of shapes that we have. The other kind of shapes that there are are organic shapes. So I'm going to write organic on the bottom. Then I can pick up my shapes. Geometric shapes are ones that we learn about usually in math class. Organic shapes come from nature. So you see that I picked up an organic shape first, which is really on this one just kind of looks like a blob or a paint splatter. So I'm going to trace that on the organic side. The next one I pick up is a triangle, which is a geometric shape. So I will put that on the top where my geometric shapes are. Okay, other shapes like this leaf shape, that is organic. So I will draw that on the organic part of the paper. And then you will see that I'm going to draw a square next, or I guess that's a little rectangle that goes on the geometric side. So you probably don't have these special pre-cut tracers at your home, so you can just go around and find different things. Like you might have a square as I don't know, on a toy or something. You might have a circle as a lid. Um, a triangle can just be a piece of paper that you fold into a triangle and then trace. The organic shapes might be a little harder to find. Now, if you're able to go outdoors and you can get a leaf from a tree, you that is definitely an organic shape. You can also draw the shape of a flower and I always just draw some what I call blobs or as I said before like a paint splatter. Okay, after you've filled up your shapes, geometric and organic, then um, you can color them in. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, I like to play the game geometric organic or organic also by just going around and finding different things in my home and thinking, is this a geometric shape or an organic shape? Okay, so have fun with this and learning all about the different kinds of shapes. Bye.